guys, Cindy Arter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. I've got a hair on me somewhere. It's driving me crazy. I am here today with my creative year. And what we're doing for this month is we are actually picking off our shelves or in our drawers or out of buckets or off the wall, however you store your paints. We are picking out paints that we very rarely use. We call them the forgotten colors. And the reason we're picking these out is we're going to create something with these and see if there is a color that maybe we'll begin to like or maybe you know there's a color that oh I forgot you know I haven't used that in a long long time and remind ourselves how you know cool the color is the ones I have here this is a ceramic coat flesh I have a storm cloud gray I have a traditional burnt sienna I have a metallic, which is bronze. I have a flesh. I have a metallics, which is rich espresso. And I have a cinnamon brown. So these are the colors that I chose that I don't use. And what I figured today is since I'm going to be basically playing around to see what I can do with these colors, um, this is my book I played around in. Look at that. That's celery. Isn't that cool? That's made out of a celery end. Anyways, <laughs> squirrel, we went that way. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a page in here. And I'm going to use these colors and see what I can do with them. See if I can get these colors to just showcase themselves. All right. So I am going to go on fast forward um, and then that way I can watch a movie while I'm doing this and just relax. Um, I'm going to go on fast forward and then at the end I'll come back and I'll talk about what this picture is and what it represents and that whole stuff. All right. I hope you guys enjoy.
actually had a lot of fun playing with these colors. Um, I definitely think that I'm going to be using a few of them again, some of them not so much. You're probably sitting there going, what did you create? All right, what I created is something that I saw quite a long time ago um, on a drive. We go up to this town um, called Whiteville. It's about half an hour from here or so. And on our way, I see this tree. And this tree, basically what it's done is, you know how they cut down the limbs for telephone lines or cable lines or whatever like that might need to go through? Well, this tree has been cut the entire middle. This is actually even exaggerated. The entire middle is all cut out. It's very clear here. And this tree has just adapted to that and grown up and around. And I've been wanting to paint this tree. Um, I think I'm going to talk about it in my um, art play th for, through Chronic Pain Group. And, but, you know, using these colors, I thought, what a perfect time to draw that tree that's in my head that just needed to get out. So I used, you know, basically all different kinds of paint brushes. You can see them all here. <laughs> Plus a dabber thing. This didn't work very well. Um, and I use this. I love this little, can you see it? It's got three lines on it. I love this little paintbrush. It's a Premier Amethyst Filbert Wisp, a quarter inch. So that was kind of cool. But yeah, so would I use these colors again? Yes, I would. Um, do I like these colors? Gray for me is kind of eh, but I do like what I did with the background, kind of the sky is cloudy and gray. Um, the metallics, this one, I wasn't so thrilled with it. This is the Rich es Espresso, and it's right there, and, you know, I can pick it out just where I see it. Um, maybe on a different piece of art, this would be good. Um, you know, maybe using it in a different capacity, yes. On this, not really. Um, I do like this bronze. I like this metallic bronze. Um, this worked out really cool in here. Um, I love it. It just gives that kind of like a little, I hate to say the word, a little pop bright of brightness, right? Um, these two colors, this one I could, I don't even think I used this one. I didn't. I'm not a fan of this color. Um, it's just called flesh, but that's not flesh. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not a fan. Uh, let's see, the cinnamon brown I did use, that's right here on the palette. And um, yeah, I like that, that was kind of cool. It's a very nice dark, creamy dark brown. 
This one is the traditional burnt sienna. I love this. It's got the red tones to it. So again, I liked using that in here. This was really nice. Um, this one, the cream coat, um, it was okay. It's a nice light, I don't want to say flesh color. It's, um, it says it's flesh, but it's, it's like a nice, um, Titan buff is what I'm thinking. So yeah, this one was okay. So out of all of these, oh, I use this one. Out of all of these paints, I picked out seven. This is the only one I did not use. This is the one I probably will not use. Um, I'm just not a fan of it. So I actually found out, yeah, I do kind of like these colors and I will go through, you know, I'll go through them. This, like I said, the um, Rich Espresso, it has to be in the right context. It's just a little bit too funky for this color here. Um, but yeah, will I use it again? Maybe, not really sure. But I did find that these five I really enjoyed. All right, so we can't wait to see what you do with this month's prompt. Um, bring out those colors. What can you do with them? And find out, let us know, do you like them? Do you love them? Do you still not like them? Are you ever gonna use them again? Um, that sort of thing, because it's just interesting to find out each artist, what colors they don't like, why they don't like them, and you know if they'll use them again or not. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about, guys. Happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.